a pool near the Dead Sea have mysteriously turned blood red. And it's not just the color the neighbors are worried about. Officials now say they know what's causing it. This is a map of Southwest Asia, one of the world's most significant geographical regions. Situated between Israel and Jordan is the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is an endorheic lake in the Jordan Rift Valley, which is formed by the Dead Sea Transform. This lateral moving transform fault to the left runs along the tectonic plate boundary between the African and Arabian plates. It connects the East Anatolian fault zone in Turkey to the northern end of the Red Sea Rift, offshore of Sinai's southern tip. This geological marvel is one of the saltiest bodies of water on Earth, making it a frequent destination for geoscientists and explorers. However, a recent exploration of the Dead Sea resulted in a surprising discovery that has astonished the whole scientific community. What did the scientists discover? Is there something sinister going on beneath the Dead Sea? Join us as we investigate what scientists observed at the Dead Sea that has startled them. Located in southern Israel's Judean Desert, the Dead Sea is a salt lake that shares a border with Jordan to the east. With its origin dating back to some 4 million years ago, it is one of Earth's saltiest bodies of water and is the lowest point on Earth. It has an arid desert environment with year-round sunshine and moderately high temperatures, but little precipitation. It is believed that volcanic processes have led to a constant sinking of land, placing the Dead Sea at the lowest place on Earth. These unique characteristics are the result of its extreme geomorphological structure and harsh desert climate. These cause frequent dramatic shifts, resulting in a landscape unlike any other in the world. Furthermore, the area's unique mineral richness of the air, soil and water is widely famous for its therapeutic qualities, as evidenced by the fact that it has been a health resort for thousands of years. But there have been a lot of mysterious occurrences near the Dead Sea, and one that has scientists baffled is the discovery of water that has turned a blood-red colour. This is remarkable because the last time a body of water became red like blood was in the Bible. And as we know, the Dead Sea is highly prominent because it's mentioned multiple times in the Bible. It just doesn't seem normal or natural to have a red pool of water turn into blood as a prominent landmark in major history texts. This startling discovery was made in modern day Jordan, commonly known as Moab in the Bible. The discovery of a pool of water turning inexplicably red just inside Jordan's border was such a shock that the country's Ministry of Water and Irrigation had to intervene. Workers from the ministry went to the location of this strange phenomenon and took water samples in order to determine the cause and origin of this problem. While the Jordanian ministry has been attempting to investigate the cause of this problem, images of this red blood-filled water have already circulated all over the internet, sparking many debates. Concerns that this discovery could spread a new pandemic were a common theme among social media users. Many people accepted the likelihood that this theory was correct because blood-red waters are mentioned in the Old Testament as one of the ten plagues unleashed on Egypt and its stubborn pharaoh in order to rescue the Israelites from slavery. According to the biblical story, God changed the makeup of the Nile River from fresh water to blood which killed aquatic life forms in the river and barred Egyptians from using the water in their normal daily activities because the water had become worthless. Another perplexing discovery was when geologists discovered that the eastern sides of the Dead Sea were the Blood Red Pond, which also happened to be the location of two biblical cities. These cities are Sodom and Gomorrah, which God is said to have destroyed because of their sins. But as these beliefs circulated over the internet, the Jordanian government was investigating to see whether there was an earthly explanation for this bizarre phenomenon. As a result, when Fatih al huemel the head of the al karak Council's Water and Agriculture Committee, declared that the authorities had been notified and that work on discovering the source of the water had begun, it did not look that the government was taking such a matter lightly. While there are currently no credible explanations, certain scientific hypotheses are promising in explaining why the lagoon, which is isolated from fresh water, suddenly changed hue. Yassin al kasasba the director of agriculture in the southern Jordan Valley, stated that this peculiar phenomenon is found in ponds near the sea due to the presence of a certain bacteria, as well as red algae, that loves salinity and changes colour with the current sunshine. However, this does not provide a thorough explanation for why the water suddenly turned red while neighbouring pools did not, especially given that the location has practically year-round sunny sky. 
While some people were skeptical of this explanation, other officials speculated that the presence of iron oxide in the water could be the cause of the unusual hue change. Still, this argument didn't seem convincing because there was no explanation for how the iron oxide got into the pool or why the colour changed so quickly. Sakhr al nasur the president of the Jordanian Geologist Syndicate, proposed another viewpoint, claiming that the red colour was created by the addition of substances by people. Several Jordanians agreed, accusing the government of concealing a source of pollution or of utilising the pool as a dumping ground for waste chemicals. So this theory spread on social media and sounded plausible enough, but it wasn't the true cause of the occurrence. A similar incident of blood red water occurred in Israel when the Alexander River resembled the Bible's scourge of blood. The Alexander River flows 32 kilometers from the hills of Nablus in the West Bank across the border into Israel and across the Mediterranean coastal plain to the Mediterranean Sea, passing through the Emek Hefer Regional Council, a rural community of Kibbutzim and Moshev. It is loved for its wildlife and beauty, but the river's abrupt appearance and pollution with blood-filled water gave it an unsettling look. Several Israeli media outlets released photographs of the red blood-filled water in their papers and magazines, virtually causing a national crisis. It was also widely debated in the press and on television shows as to why and how the famed river quickly reversed its orientation. The River Alexander's look was caused by blood, feathers and other animal body pieces spilling out of slaughterhouses. These animal parts came from multiple Palestinian slaughterhouses in the northern West Bank city of Tulkarim, and it wasn't the first time this had happened. A purification facility normally cleans animal and blood waste, but torrential rains inundated the system and it was not cleansed before it spilled into the Alexander River. The terrible episode coincided with the previous month's high demand for chicken, which was provided to Israelis in preparation for Passover and Muslims in preparation for the month-long Ramadan festival. You'd think the pool near the Dead Sea would have suffered the same fate, but it didn't. The earlier scientific theories, which included algae, iron oxide and human-added chemicals, did not turn out to be the answer. The Jordan Valley Authority, a Jordanian government organisation in control of the region's water supply, provided the exact cause a few weeks later. They had done a few tests on the water and the findings revealed that the cause for the red appearance was due to manganese in the water. That was a strange discovery that had never been heard of before. Manganese is a naturally occurring element that is widely distributed in the Earth's ecosystem. It is found in land, air and water, as well as in our diet. However, scientists speculated that an extremely high quantity of manganese could affect the colour of the water and give it a reddish hue, similar to iron. Iron and manganese, according to a geological assessment conducted in the United States, are both metals that might cause stains in plumbing fixtures or laundry, although they are not known to be the source of health problems. However, it is unclear how the Deadpool Sea had such a high manganese content. Discoveries around the Dead Sea are not new, having been a beacon of history since biblical times. However, modern discoveries did not occur until the 19th century. For the first time in 60 years, archaeologists have discovered a new fragment of the Dead Sea Scrolls, a cache of ancient Jewish and Hebrew religious manuscripts discovered in the Qumran Caves on the northern shore of the Dead Sea. The excavations were carried out by the Israel Antiquities Authority, which believes the new scroll, written in Greek, is a missing part of the Book of the Twelve Minor Prophets scroll, which was discovered in 1961. It includes verses from Zechariah 8, 16-17, as well as Nahum 1, 5-6. Minor differences in wording between manuscripts are significant in shaping our understanding of the evolution of the standardized Hebrew Bible. The first Dead Sea Scroll was discovered in 1947 by a Bedouin shepherd, making it one of the most significant archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. The parchment and papyrus manuscripts, which date from the 3rd century BC to the 1st century AD, contain the earliest known texts from the Hebrew Bible as well as other apocryphal writings. The new fragments were discovered in the Cave of Horror, where archaeologists discovered skeletons of men, women and children killed during the Bar Kokhba Revolt, a Jewish rebellion against Rome from 132 to 136 during Emperor Hadrian's reign. The discovery of Roman encampments on the cliff above the cave suggests that the insurgents were besieged until they died of starvation. The cave can only be reached by rope, which descends 200 feet. 
The new Dead Sea Scroll is one of several recent archaeological discoveries, including a partially mummified 6,000-year-old child skeleton, Jewish coins from the time of the Bar Kokhba rebellion, ancient arrowheads, and a 10,500-year-old basket that has remained intact, lid and all, due to the desert's hot, arid environment. What do you think about these recent discoveries around the Dead Sea? Tell us in the comments below.